Hi there, it's Dan from Bokane Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the PHP version of your SiteGround web hosting. When you first log into SiteGround, uh, go to your site tools, and that's where we are now. And on the left sidebar, go down to Devs, and then click on PHP Ver Manager. And on this page, you'll see there are a couple different tabs. You can change the PHP version for your live sites or your staging sites. Um, so that's really helpful if you know you're going to be developing a site that is not compatible with the live site's PHP version. Um, typically, if you're going from a really old install to something much more modern, you might have a difference in your PHP version needs, as well as your variables and extensions. They do let you edit a handful of them down here. But for changing the PHP version in SiteGround, um, once you come to the PHP Manager, you'll see what's currently being used down here. And they give you a little heads up that if you're doing the managed PHP service, you don't have to update it. Whenever there's an, a stable version release that SiteGround is comfortable with, they're going to update it for you. So the advantage is you don't have to do anything, but the disadvantage is if your website's not compatible with the new version of PHP, when they update your PHP on the server, it could break your website. So something to keep in mind about. Not too common, but it does happen. Um, to change your version, come here and click on the edit pen. And you can see change version of PHP for your domain. And then you can see right now we're doing manage PHP, but I'm going to go ahead and click on change PHP version manually. And then you can select PHP version and you can see which one. SiteGround only has a few available, 7.33, uh, 7.4, uh, 8, and 8.1. So if you know which one you need, you would just go ahead and select it and then click confirm. And you can see now the PHP version is set to what we set it to. But if we go to the staging link, we could actually change it to something else here um, or up here. But let's go ahead and put this back to the managed PHP. And that's just because I, I know my website.